was gonna put my AirPods in. Never mind. Hello! It is my birthday. I shouldn't have done that because I, <laughs> I didn't put hand sanitizer on my hands yet. It is my birthday. I did not get my nails done. I did bite them off when I was anxious sometime last week. That was cool. I got a Trenta green tea lemonade instead of the caramel macchiato. I think I did that last year. Not a good idea. <laughs> I think I like had crashed or something later in the day. I'm still wearing the fake nose ring, aren't you proud of it? I think I got flirted with at the Starbucks. He was very sweet, but I never know if people are like flirting or being mean, but in like that weird nice way or just being like really weirdly sarcastic, you know? It was also 3.55. I didn't think that at 3.30, I didn't think there was gonna be so many people on the Starbucks side. But there were, which is insane to me. What did I do today? I did absolutely nothing. I didn't do any work. Took a nap. Look at my bonnet. <laughs> Just chilling. Anyways, my mom paid for my PC to get a diagnostic repair because it keeps crapping out. Sorry for the language. My friend got me a $50 gift card for books, so I, I bought books. I got lots of happy birthdays. My mom made a Facebook post. I still haven't responded to any of the Facebook posts. So you're gonna see this YouTube video first before you see me respond back. But I'm 25 and that is so weird to me. I've already felt 25 because the great thing about being born in September is you have a whole nine months, literally, quite literally, to just see everybody grow up and then you finally get your turn but you already feel so much into that age already that it doesn't matter and i'm happy i'm not a december baby i mean i'm happy i'm not a sagittarius or a capricorn i think being a virgo is completely 100 percent perfect for me no shade i got a surprising text message that was kind of sweet i'm professionally i'm making life choices that i am shocked at making but also think it's gonna be good in the long run and yeah I made the title like the office thing, it is your birthday, but I said, instead of yours, it's mine. Hopefully you can hear me. It's really hot today. Actually, I think I can turn it off. One second. And then my shirt keeps showing my mint green <laughs> sports bra. I didn't know. Oh, my mother is calling me. You can stay. Hi. Hello. Hello. Mom. Yeah, I'll call back my mom. That's weird if I don't. I was about to say tag your wrist. Still want Carabas. I also was trying to make a YouTube video, but somebody called me. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I came on here to talk about. For starters, why does it look white? Oh, what's this? What's in my hair? Mm. What have I done this year so far? Let's do that. Went to therapy, got a therapist, got a psychiatrist, changed my doctor to a black woman doctor, applied for a job that I thought I was gonna get, didn't get, cried. Then I got an email the weekend after offering me a contract position and that has been amazing. <laughs> got a job doing tech support and the thing that I would be helping with is fairly like the system interface situation is very easy and I would just have to get trained. Other professional things that I'm not gonna talk about yet that are happening. And I think the funny part is I was pretty much told that I should just take anything because I'm not gonna immediately get what I actually want. What I actually want was to just do research. I really wanted to do public policy research. But as I started applying for jobs within that kind of situation, it was just really difficult. And so I was like, okay, I'll do research. And I found this company that does really amazing research, definitely is really into inclusivity and hits on things that I went through in my experience when I was in school. And so to see people actually doing something <laughs> like that was really amazing. And so I was really sad when I didn't get it. And then 10 million things happened within the span of like, I think pretty much a weekend and a week. And now there's like so many different little opportunities that I have with that place, which is amazing. So many other really amazing things happening. And I'm just really happy. You know, I'm happy that I didn't give up on myself and what I wanted, what I knew I wanted. I'm happy that I found places and spaces that make me feel good. <laughs> Happy that I got medication to help with my anxiety. I 
I have friends and family that love me and I'm learning every day and I'm way more forgiving of myself than I was 10 years ago at 15 years old. I've just been through a lot. I was thinking about this when I was going to sleep, like what are you gonna say? <laughs> I've been through so much and have grown so much and have done so much that I'm really happy that I didn't give up. I'm really happy that I kept believing <sighs> and um, yeah, like if I could look at 15 year old me, I would tell her, girl, don't listen to anybody else but yourself. You know yourself, you know what you want, you know what you need. Trust yourself because you're right. You're a Virgo. <laughs> That's not my <laughs> I am so happy that I didn't decide to do something different, knowing that I would never be happy and knowing it just wouldn't have made sense for me. You know, 25 is also like when your brain fully develops and fully matures, like everything clicks all of a sudden. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I don't know why. And then somebody made it, it was like, uh, yeah, I says, cause like, not to me, but they were like, you know, at 25, like your brain fully matures. So that's why everything is clicking and making sense. And that's very true, like throughout this year and last year, I've like really been able to solidify who I am, what I want, what I want to see myself doing in the future, the people I want around me. And I just feel so happy and so loved and so grateful. And I am so excited for whatever comes next because I know that I'm good and I'm okay. I just like think about like little Isis and like I wish I could tell her like, girl, don't worry, <laughs> you'll be okay. I don't think I've ever felt so whole and loved and safe, funnily enough, until the pandemic, <laughs> which is so odd to me. And I am just so happy about that. I'm trying not to cry. So, this is a trend up. Did I say that? That's me deflecting. I would show you the guinea pigs. Maybe I'll put up a picture. Ruby snatched a carrot out of my hand this morning. That was pretty rude. Mom told me last night that Rosie face planted. I really am deflecting. That Rosie sat weird and she face planted on the floor. <laughs> she like, wait, like, my sister's calling me. So many people are calling, one second. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard her voice. Okay, my dad tried to call me this morning, but my friend called me first, and then I just talked to one of my older sisters. I think I have two brothers. I'm very confused by how many brothers I actually have. My dad is not very clear. On my mom's side, it's just me and my little brother. On my dad's side, I have two older sisters, and I think two older brothers. Like, I'm the youngest. Anyways. I said Rosie face planted. And then when she makes noises, I don't know, why am I talking about the guinea pigs? She, when she makes noises, this morning she made the noise, like asking for food, and she like used her whole body, but like more like her butt. And it's so funny. Uh, what am I saying? Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. It is my birthday, and I'm very happy and very grateful, and I'm gonna try to do this every year, post on my birthday. Or the day after which is also Beyonce's birthday I always feel weird having like a birthday week or weekend because I know Beyonce's birthday is the day after like, I feel disrespectful like why would I do that to her I do have a video I'm finishing the script hopefully we'll have that video up within the next two weeks because it's kind of about a person kind of not and I want to honor the person more than the topic that includes the person. And so I'm trying to make sure that I'm including the person since it's two people. I'm trying to make sure that I honor and respect them first before I go into the topic. And then I did too much research as I usually do when I <laughs> am making a script. That's it. I'll see you in two weeks, hopefully. Don't hold me to that though. Bye! <laughs> that was so loud, I'm so sorry. Bye! <laughs> I also remembered the Cinderella story. The new Cinderella comes out on my birthday and I was like, wow, God, really looking out. Like, I don't want to acknowledge any other Cinderella movie except for a Cinderella story and Roger and Hammerstein's, is it Rogers? Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella with Brandy and Whitney Houston. But that's it. Sounds like somebody's trying to come into my house and I hope that is not the case. If you see this video, it didn't happen. Bye, <laughs> again. <laughs>